Anybody who buys the RTX 20 series cards for mining is an idiot. That's how I wanna start off this video where we're gonna go in depth on discussing the expected mining performance of the RTX 20 series cards. Obviously we don't have firm numbers in hand because benchmarks haven't come out yet. We still have about three weeks until that happens. But I wanna take an examination of what we can expect based on all of the performance metrics that we already know about the cards, what we can kind of guess based on other factors such as GDDR6, and then try to talk about whether or not tensor cores and ray tracing cores will ever make an influence on mining performance with the RTX 2080 Ti, 2080, and 2070. So with that being said, let's talk about today's sponsor for the video, which is our very own website, UFD Deals, which is where we bring hot deals to you from around the internet on your favorite products of tech things because we want to save you a little bit of money. We also have affiliate links on everything, so we get a little bit of kickback to support the channel. You could probably find some cheap graphics cards to maybe mine with, maybe not mine with, maybe buy them and slap your miner friend with them because you hate them so much for causing the drought earlier in the year. Any way you want to do it, UFD Deals can help you out. So check the link in the video description, UFD.deals, and that's the who, who's brought the video to you, me. I brought this video to you. So thank you, let's move on into the subject matter. So this video is gonna discuss potential mining performance. I already started off the video by saying anybody who buys them is an idiot. So there, like, just so you know, that's where I'm at. But in case you've subscribed within the last like three to four months, you might not know that we have no problem with mining here on this channel. We don't, people are gonna do it with their graphics cards. We, it's a technology thing. We are okay with discussing it. I have no personal, issue with it whatsoever. So if you want to unsubscribe now because you dislike mining that much, I love you so much. I really wish that you wouldn't go, but your heart will always be in mine, which sounds more threatening than I want it to be. But I just want you to know that I love you so much. I'm sorry to see you go and sorry that you're so petty over things like mining. So with that being said, let's just jump into it. So as we can kind of guess about the RTX 20 series cards, they're based on the Turing architecture. That's not a guess. We know that much, but Turing appears to be a refined version of Volta with some ray tracing cores slapped onto it. So we can take a look at the mining performance of Volta to kind of sort of maybe gauge what we're gonna get with the 2080 Ti and below. So with the Tesla V100, which is the biggest Volta GPU you can get, we're talking about Ethereum mining performance right now because everything else is kind of wishy-washy up in the air. You can get 90 mega hash of Ethereum mining. On the Titan V, you can get 70 mega hash on that. So the Titan V got a 70 mega hash at stock, 77 mega hash while overclocked is basically what we can find for it on the internet. If we compare that to Pascal, we've got the 1080 Ti, which can do about 53 mega hash after the enlargement pill, which came out a few months ago. We did a video on that right up there. So 50 mega hash on a 1080 Ti. One of the things that we can't really predict about the 20 series is how well it's going to mine things because of GDDR6. There are currently no GDDR6 graphics cards on the market, so it makes it a difficult call as far as how that's going to perform because it's not just memory bandwidth or memory speeds that actually affect mining performance, especially in the case of Ethereum. Latency also matters quite a bit, which is why the, both the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti had woefully disappointing mining numbers on Ethereum compared to the likes of a 1070 or 1070 Ti because GDDR5X, while it is faster, has a higher latency, which made it not scale as well for memory intensive mining applications such as Ethereum. So while the GDDR6 that we're expecting to see on the RTX 20 series cards has about plus or minus 25 to 30% better bandwidth than GDDR5, we might not get 25 to 30% better mining performance, again, due to things like latency. But with that being said, what we're expecting, this is just a, a shot in the dark, the 2080 Ti's mining Ethereum performance should be roughly around 69 mega hash. Sorry for that, George. The 2080 should get about 56 mega hash, and the 2070 should get around 42 mega hash. Now that is based both on GDDR6 memory performance and bandwidth, as well as the CUDA cores and the clock speeds that we are anticipating. Obviously they're not out in the wild, so we can't fully predict. One of the biggest differences with the 20 series though, is that they're not just based on CUDA cores and memory anymore. They also have tensor cores and ray tracing cores, which makes them a bit of a different beast as far as graphic performance, but that, doesn't translate basically at all into mining right now. We tried to do research to find, are there any algorithms whatsoever that can use tensor cores and use the matrices math that tensor cores process? 
And right now there's nothing. And there's also like zero mention of the fact that like ray tracing performance, like giga rays don't convert into cryptocurrency at all. It doesn't seem like right now there's like jokes about a ray tracing coin, but there's nothing as far as like actual math being developed for cryptocurrencies or algorithms that are being developed based on these. However, that doesn't mean that that won't happen because one of the biggest issues that we're seeing with the 20 series is that both the tensor cores and the ray tracing cores haven't really existed in a consumer package before. With tensor cores, the only cards that had that were the Volta cards, which were $3,000 and above. So if you wanted a card that had 110 teraflops of tensor performance, well, you needed to buy a $3,000 Titan V. But now we get about 110 teraflops or tensor performance for about $1,200, which brings it into a more consumer-friendly application. And considering the fact that the 2080 TI sold out like hotcakes, it seems like there's gonna be more incentive for people to potentially develop algorithms for cryptocurrencies that would actually take advantage of the tensor core performance. Now, again, I don't know enough about actually developing algorithms to say when this is gonna happen or if it's going to happen or if it's super possible, but preliminary research that we've seen on the internet indicates that it is a possibility. However, there's been no incentive to do it just because there hasn't been widely available tensor cores out there on the market. So right now, basically everything that you're paying for for the RTX 20 series cards, because the CUDA core performance and the clock speed just definitely won't be worth the price increase. So you're paying for the tensor cores and the ray tracing cores. Those basically add nothing to the mining performance of the 20 series cards. And they're gonna perform like 10 series on steroids. That's exactly what we could expect. However, if we do take a look at the pricing, the $1,200 that the 2080 Ti is going for retail, I'm not talking about MSRP here, it's $1,000 MSRP, but you won't be able to find a single card price for that as far as I can see. So for $1,200, right now you can buy six RX 580s used, you can buy the motherboard and the CPU and the power supply to do that for around $1,200 with six RX 580s if you go the used route. Six RX 580s will give you 174 mega hash per second of Ethereum mining performance compared to the anticipated 70 or so mega hash of the 2080 Ti. There is absolutely going to be no reason to buy an RTX 20 series for mining until Tensor or RT cores can actually be developed to be utilized in mining. It kind of potentially seems like Nvidia may have been pricing the 20 series to actually be priced out of the hands of miners. If they had come in at the pricing that we were expecting, which was the 2080 Ti would replace the 1080 Ti and they would actually just be direct replacements price wise, then they should be bought for mining and then they it would have made a whole lot more sense because their performance would have increased to the point where the ROI would scale in proportion with how well they would do at mining. But as it stands now, $1,200 for 70 mega hash is insane when you can get 175 mega hash for potentially the exact same price. Again, this is based on anticipated CUDA curve performance, anticipated GDDR6 performance. There's nothing about tensor cores or ray tracing cores that would actually come into mining. So we're expecting to see no gain there. So as it stands now, the RTX 20 series is gonna be a flop for mining. It looks like everybody asking that Nvidia could create a solution that would prevent miners from actually buying these graphics cards. It seems like we got it. We just got it in price hikes and with technology that can't be used for mining at this moment. So there you go. Everybody who wanted it, miners can't buy your GPUs for mining. I mean, they absolutely could. They would just be wasting their money because you can buy two 1070s for about $500. A 2070 is gonna cost you 600 bucks. You'd get 60 mega hash on those 1070s, and then the 2070 would only get about 40 to 45. So it doesn't even make sense to actually purchase the 20 series whatsoever. You might actually see a resurgence of a 10 series drought. If the price of cryptocurrencies go up, profitability goes up, the 10 series makes a lot more sense for mining right now, especially on the used market pricings that you're finding out there. So we could actually see another drought of Pascal come in, another drought of Polaris come in, if the pricing on uh, actually mining cryptocurrencies gets profitable at all again. And that's disappointing. So this is where I'm gonna wrap everything up here. Did you at all purchase the 20 series for mining? Are you waiting on benchmarks to come out for mining performance? as far as what the 20 series can do before you were considering purchasing them, let me know down in the comments below or in that poll, 20 series mining, yay, nay. I'm curious what you're gonna do. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Like it, especially if you're glad that I said that the 20 series isn't gonna be good for mining. Like it triply 
if you think that Pascal, that's a, that's a city, isn't it? <laughs> like it triply so if you, uh, if you remember the mining days and how we actually were uh, promoting mining content at one point and you haven't forgotten. Okay, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content because mining is included in tech. Sorry if you don't agree, rip, rip, rip. Anyways, I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. I love you too.